Hello, this is Andrew Munson, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, I'm going to be introducing the new TDL 2.4 radio from Trimble. This session will include an introduction to the TDL 2.4 radio, an unboxing, and a short demonstration of its use. The TDL 2.4 is a new radio from Trimble. This radio allows you to establish a Bluetooth to serial net connection. That means that you will be able to connect a Trimble data collector that does not have an internal radio to your total station. The TDL 2.4 radio also allows you to connect a third party device to your total station as well, allowing you to increase the flexibility of your current equipment. This radio is already integrated into Trimble Access 2015.2 and later, allowing for a simple workflow that the worker is already familiar with. It has the same radio range as the internal radios on Trimble devices, up to 2,625 feet. It features USB charging on board, meaning it can be charged with a micro USB cable hooked up to any power source, which could be your home, car, or computer. The battery lasts up to 36 hours and fully charges in 5 hours. It has been tested to military standards for durability and is simple to use with only 3 buttons, one for power, one for the battery, and one for pairing. We will now show an unboxing video so you know what you get with your purchase. This is the box that your TDL 2.4 radio will come in. As we open it up, you'll see that it comes with a quick start guide along with some general safety information. And here is the radio itself. It will come from the factory without the battery installed, but that will go right here on the back. There are three buttons on the top of the radio along with the antenna port and on the bottom there is a rubber door that covers the charging port. This is the battery door. It also comes with a pole mount. A belt clip is an optional purchase. You get a bag full of charging equipment that includes some international chargers. The battery that comes with is a standard M3 battery that just slides into the back. It also comes with your charging cable, which is a micro USB cable. So it's a USB to micro USB. And that is your TDL 2.4 radio. This is a picture of all the contents of the box as well. To sum it up, the box includes the radio, antenna, pole mount, USB cable, charging kit with international adapters, removable battery, and a quick start guide. Now we are going to go over how to use the TDL 2.4 radio. The use of this radio is very simple. After setting up the radio in Trimble Access, it is as easy as using the internal radio on many other devices. When you get it out of the box, you will want to charge the battery for five hours. You will then attach the antenna Pair it to your device using Bluetooth, then set the radio settings on your total station and data collector, and you are all ready to survey. I will show you how to do all this in a demonstration. The equipment that we will be using is the TDL 2.4 radio, a Panasonic Toughpad running Trimble Access 2015.22, and a Trimble S6 robotic total station. We are using a Panasonic Toughpad to demonstrate the flexibility of the radio with third party data collectors. We will begin on the desktop of our tablet and open up Trimble Access. To pair the TDL 2.4 radio to this collector, tap on Settings, then Connect, and then Bluetooth. From this screen, tap Config down at the bottom of the screen. This will bring you to the tablet's Bluetooth menu. Make sure to turn on the TDL 2.4 radio by pressing the power button. To put the radio in pairing mode, hold down the connection button for 5 seconds. The orange and blue light will flash, showing it is in pairing mode. Then go back to the tablet and click Add a Device. 
The tablet will then scan for Bluetooth devices in the area. The radio comes up as RB, which stands for Radio Bridge, followed by the serial number. Tap that and then click Next. It will then connect and install any drivers that are required. If we scroll down, we can now see that the radio has been added. We can close out of this screen and go back to access. If we look under the Connect to TDL 2.4 tab, we can see that the radio has been added. We will select it and then tap Accept. Then go back into Connect and tap on Radio Settings. Here you can match the radio settings that are on the total station. If you do not know how to do this, go back to our blog and watch our video on how to set radio settings on a total station. Tap on Options at the bottom of the screen. Make sure the port details has external radio selected and the controller port is Bluetooth. Tap Accept. The radio information will then load at the bottom of the screen. Tap Accept. We can now go into General Survey to hook up to the total station. Make sure the total station is on, and if Auto Connect is on, the total station will automatically connect to the data collector. If not, tap Measure, then select your survey style for your total station. Then tap Station Setup. You are now connected to the total station using the TDL 2.4 radio. If you look at the radio itself, the blue and green lights are now lit up. In Access, we can go back and look on the right side of the screen and we can see that we are connected to a total station. If you click on the battery on the right side of the screen, you will be able to check the battery percentage of the TDL 2.4 radio, the total station, and the controller. The TDO radio is a flexible and easy option to turn data collectors without an integrated radio into a more useful device. It integrates directly with Trimble Access and is compatible with third-party devices. In today's session, we went over the introduction, the unboxing, and the use of a TDL 2.4 radio. That concludes our session on the TDL 2.4 radio. We hope you found this beneficial and will join us in the future for more Tech Talks. If you have any questions on the TDL 2.4 radio, feel free to contact our salesman here at Frontier Precision. Thank you.